Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial. Today I want to show you the complete future set of the split test for Elementor plugin. So let's start. First of all you have to install the necessary plugins, which are the Elementor plugin and the split test for Elementor plugin. Both can be found with the add new future of WordPress. So there are two possibilities for split testing and split test for Elementor. And uh, these are the test types you can see here. As you've as you seen, I've uh, used the menu item here and added a new test. So, you have the elements test type and the page test type. The element test type is to test specific elements on one page. So if you have a green button or a red button and you want to test both buttons against each other to see which conversion rate both have, then you go for elements. If you have whole page layouts that are different to each other, you go for the page test type. One side note for the elements test type you have to have installed have to have installed elementary and for the page test type you don't have to have installed elementary since the page test type doesn't work with elementary but with some WordPress internals so you can use visual composer or no visual editor at all as I will do in this test to show demonstrate the futures. So we want to start with a page test type and we see some options we can put into here. We have a split test URL and we have to give it an identifier. We have the test variations right here and the conversion type. The conversion type widget is a deprecated conversion type. It's um, only there for legacy purposes. Old, uh, for old versions and spits for Elementor and will be maybe removed in the near future and um, so we want to have a conversion type of page. As you can see right now um, we have to have the according pages on our system which is not the case right now we need a uh, variation page one, variation page two, and a uh, conversion page, thank you page, something like that. So first of all, we have to create it right now, real quick. So we go for uh, test page one with content one, and test page two with content to and the thank you page. The thank you page can be everything. Um, thank you for subscribing to our newsletter page or thank you for downloading our ebook or joining our webinar, whatever you need. So, now as we have this three pages set up, we can set up the test for them. Start giving a name for the test. I just put into the test name. Go for a test type and um, generate a test link, like this for example, and create the test variations. I want to go for a test A and test B go for test page 1 and test page 2. Give both of them a percentage. It's important to put a percentage here that is in uh, summary 100. So if I'm going for something like this, you will get a, uh, an error message. So that is important. 100 is important um, as a summary of both of them and we have to select a thank you page. So we are set up for this test right now and I'm going to show you 
how this is working. So you put on this test URL, in some browsers this works and some not, in a later version we maybe uh, put a link here, a button where you can put the link directly into your um, clipboard. So I'm going to use this URL you can see here and visit it and we will automatically be redirected to one of the test variations. In this case, this is test page 2 with content 2. And I'm going to go back right now and show you that this conversion, this view, is checked in the database. So we have test B with one view right over here. So, and now um, the user did what he had to do and landed on the thank you page. Um, the thank you message is displayed. And if I'm going to go back into the statistics, you will see that we have one conversion for test B and the conversion rate of 100%, um, which is not in the real world case, obviously. So that was the test type page. Now I'm going to show you how to set up uh, a test for testing different elements on one page against each other. And for doing that, you have two possibilities. You can use this screen right here, give the test variations names, give them percentage, select the conversion page, or you can directly do this in Elementor. So I think this will be really obvious to you and uh, the Elementor way is pretty much a cooler way to do this. So we are starting with a new Elementor page and say a testing buttons and I want to have Elementor canvas and edit this with Elementor. So just wait a second. Yeah, there you go. I just want to um, use some of the templates here just to um, have some content that this is not that naked. And I want to test this button. So I duplicate this button and have to make an adjustment right here. So you have uh, a space here and that will be displayed in the test and uh, this is a pretty bad thing um, I, will dis uh, I will correct that later as, as you can see the problem that will occur and uh, I will just now change uh, the button colors and um, make that adjustment later so there you go um, I think Blue is a good color, but I want to have a green color as well. So I just go for the green button color right here. And I have to change the hover as well. And uh, green. And as you can see, we have a green button and the blue button. So that was the first part. Now, as we have created the two elements, we can create the according split test. So as you can see, here's no test and add new test. Um, as I deleted the other test, uh, which is pretty obvious. And now I want to create a new one. Button test. And with a conversion type of page. And I want to have a thank you page. We use before. Good. Now I want to have a variation. The variation is the button blue. And I want to give it a percentage of 50%. Save all that. And this split test for this button is ready to go. Next, I want to go for the green button, select the split test accordingly, add a new variation, give it a new name green in this case and a percentage 50% and save all that and the split test is set up and ready to go. 
so I want to view it right now. I don't like the preview mode, to be honest. And as you can see, the blue button right here is shown in the view. So I wanted to show you something special. And because of that, I have to delete something out of the cookies. So if you are testing with your own, you have um, this element of split test cookies. And all you have to do is to delete them. And you will see that the split test is started again. So I'm doing this in the hope that I'm getting the other button, which can be sometimes really time consuming. Hopefully not. Yeah, so we get the green button. And as you can see, we have a slight margin over here, and which is pretty bad. And I want to correct that right now. This is what, uh, what I was talking about. You have to set it to zero with spacing, with the widget spacing, and update that. And if you have done that, you will see that the margin over here just disappeared. And as we go back to our dashboard for the split tests, you will see that in the statistics, nothing happened. Why is that? Uh, uh, but no, to be correct, the conversion is checked. You have seen two views for the blue button and one view for the green button. But no conversion has happened. Now we have to go on the thank you page to simulate a conversion. And as you can see, you have 100% conversions on the green button. So, that's it for split test for Elementor. That was a functional overview and detailed explanation of the different types of testing and conversion tracking you can do with split test for Elementor. I hope is this video was informative for you. If you have any questions, just leave us a message at info at rocketelements.io and I hope this uh, will help you to have better conversions in the future and wish you a good day.